guys, this is Chidanand from Kratz Infotech NG and I welcome you to this short demo on Jenkins. So what I want to do in this demo is um, demonstrate the usage of a plugin of Jenkins uh, called as uh, promoting a build. So let me just log into my uh, Jenkins instance. Um, promoting a build means that um, in case you, you, you have a very, very big Jenkins server with too many jobs scheduled on it. At any time, there are so many builds uh, being built on your Jenkins server. Some by a development team, some from different branches, some by the integration team. So some through an overnight build, some kicked off by um, the web uh, plugins that you put in or the webhook plugins that you put in. Uh, in short, there are so many builds that is being built on your Jenkins and um, you don't have any way to know what is a pretty good build or what is a bad build. So based upon the criteria that you have set for your um, build environment, there are ways in which you can promote a build to do some specific stuff or do something more. So what I'm going to do is uh, go to uh, Jenkins and plugins. I probably have this plugin already installed, but let me just check that. Yes, I have a build. I mean, I have a plugin called as Promote uh, Promoted Builds plugin. If you look at the information of this uh, plugin, it's a pretty popular uh, plugin. Uh, you'll find all the documentation of this plugin. Uh, so I've already installed this plugin. So using this, I'm going to do a quick demo of how to uh, promote a build. So assuming that you know, I have a couple of builds, um, uh, builds as in build jobs. Okay, these could be either building something, running some tests, or you know, whatever, whatever is your um, job that you want to get done by Jenkins. So assuming that I have a job called, um, let me put it this way, demo uh, build a job. I don't want to do too many things in the job because uh, this is about. Uh, this tutorial is more about uh, the usage of uh, this plugin, so I don't want to complicate the job. So in the build, I'm just going to write something called as executor windows uh, batch command. I will say echo uh, building and running unit test. So this is my job that will just, um, you know, assumption is that this job is going to build uh, my um, whatever, whatever I'm going to pull out from some, something from the Git repository and um, build something out of it and also run a unit test cases. Now, assuming that that goes well, all right. So what I want to do is I want to do a next a set of stuff where I would just say that demo. Uh, this is um, let's say a deploy job, okay? QA deploy job, QA deploy job. Okay. Now, assuming that the build and unit test case goes well. Uh, I would want to kind of uh, plug this into this job, All right? So in the build, I'll just say that execute uh, Windows batch command echo uh, deploying to QA server. All right, so I have two jobs here now. One is actually building it, running unit test cases, assuming everything goes well, then I'm going to go and uh, deploy this to a QA server. A demo, um, probably I will say that uh, this is, um, you know, integration test or let's say QA. Demo QA job, freestyle job. Okay, so I'm going to say that um, execute Windows batch command, echo QA um, done successfully. All right, assuming that I have these three jobs, okay, I want to kind of link them up together so that after my um, build job is done, you know, it's going to call my QA deploy job and after that the actual QA is going to happen. So let me uh, kind of configure that. So after my demo build job, I will do a post action, um, build other projects, demo uh, QA deploy job. All right. Okay. And there are options here, trigger only if the build is stable. So this is what I want to do so that, you know, only if the build and unit test, everything is passed and the build is kind of uh, marked as stable, only then this job would uh, trigger the other job. All right. So that is the first linking that I've done between this demo. And then for my QA job, assuming that the QA deployment uh, goes along well, then I was possibly want to go and trigger the other job. That is build other projects, uh, demo. A QA job. All 
right again same same option trigger only if the build is stable now this is my three jobs which are linked together and, and the, the whole idea is if at all a demo build job goes well if it's able to build an unit test uh, you can visualize this in your particular job if it's a maven repository you're doing a first git pull of your repository then mvn compile or mvn test where all the unit test cases everything gets run and if this goes well this build is marked as uh, stable and then it is going to uh, you know invoke this guy and then it's going to invoke this guy in case i want i can also uh, put a pipeline view for this guy and say that demo um demo uh, promotion pipeline um, this is delivery pipeline view and um, nothing much needs to be other than adding a component here i'll say that demo promotion okay and my first job is that uh, demo build job okay right no jobs are done that is all fine so let me go ahead and um, build job let me just go and build it once if you see here I've just clicked the demo um, build job so assuming that goes well the demo QA job will uh, deploy to QA will uh, you know get invoked and assuming that that goes well uh, the demo QA job will run so these three jobs are run in parallel because I've kind of uh, linked them together all right and if you see this I have a pipeline set as well here so this is a way of visualizing my um, pipelines all right now these three jobs are done now this is my job which where i have the artifact that is built out so in case if it's a java project for me or a maven based project i have a jar file or a war file uh, that is specific to the build so if i have multiple jobs like this let me kind of go ahead and uh, you know uh, do some small changes so that i bre break a you know uh, job right so i'm just for the qa So I'm going to ensure that I just write something bad here so that you know this job gets broken All right and um, come back let me trigger my uh, build job here or let me show you a way of putting that as an option here uh, Columns enable enable yep, enable start of a new pipeline build. Okay, that's what I want here. Okay, I get this option here. So now if, if I click this job, I've purposely ensured that one of my um, job kind of doesn't run properly. I mean, it's kind of broken. So if you see this, the second part of um, you know the second job is broken so the third job doesn't get invoked because the assumption is that for my pipeline after the first job is built successfully that it should trigger the second job and assuming second job runs well only then the third job will get executed so since deployment to my qa server didn't happen for whatsoever reason i don't want to really trigger off my um, uh, uh, you know testing of, of that particular thing because my job is still not deployed now assuming that these are my pipelines and uh, if all this goes well i would possibly want to upload some artifacts of a job because if i have let's say a thousand jobs that is run out of them only two or three jobs may be good jobs where they are you know there's a small criteria that i've set out here but you can visualize your particular jobs if you have a lot of automation in your project all the steps required for you to complete your automation uh, and certify that a pretty job is you know pretty good to possibly uh, you know done with the QA and maybe good enough to move the artifact into your artifact repository or possibly move your job into a, a stage environment okay now that being said now what I want to do is <clears throat> I've got the plugin installed so I would want to set out a criteria for my job and for my jobs uh, build job is where all my artifacts are set out so let me go here and try to configure something for the part of my um, promotion activity all right so in the general general uh, section out here of my job um, let me see all right promote builds when all right now this option you would see only because the plugin is installed all right so I'm saying 
you know I'm going to click this and uh, the process would have to have a name so let me give a, a name for this QA okay all right uh, and there are some icons and things that I can kind of choose uh, gold star uh, gold empty star this looks good all right um, now what is the criteria how do you want a promotion to happen okay now there are multiple ways in which you can uh, define your criteria there are times where you, you would want some customer or your internal teams to verify some job manually if at all there is some manual activity to be done uh, in that case you would want to just send out some emails and somebody manually verifies that okay that is this option when uh, only when manually approved okay but for, for my case now assuming that my job is pretty much automated and everything happens within my um, jobs that is set out I would just say that uh, promote uh, when the following downstream projects uh, are built successfully so this would be a criteria for me to say that my jobs are all good so what are my um, uh, what are my downstream jobs uh, demo um, QA deploy job that's one of them and I say demo uh, QA job so for me if these two jobs which are nothing but my downstream jobs downstream is like you know um, my this is my um, my first job and these jobs would follow my uh, my job so that is why these are all downstream job if there's a trigger for my job that would be something like an upstream job all right so when these downstream projects are built successfully that means I'm going to promote this particular build to do something okay now actions can be multiple you can you can do multiple things in your action you can execute some batch command where you would you would want to push some artifacts into some particular uh, uh, folders or something like that uh, you can upload some nexus in case you have integration with nexus or also if at all you have um, you have um, the some of the uh, what is it called um, so-called sonar cube analysis where you have some sort of a static analyzers and uh, stuff like that you can even push that you know uh, the all these things are you know these steps which have to be done as a part of your promotional activity so uh, first things if at all things don't run the way you expect to run this build should not be promoted at all it's a bad build it's broken somewhere in your automated pipeline assuming that these things get cleared then you would want to take it to the next level that is what is a promotional thing so for me I don't want to do anything much as I said this is just a kind of a demo uh, I would just possibly print something you know I would just say execute a Windows batch command I will say you know uh, build good to move to stage okay so that's all I want to do but this is the place where you got to configure what needs to be done as a part of promotional activity all right so I'll save that part and now if you see that I have something called uh, you know the, all the star stuff so let me try to build this now um, so if I build this anyway the other projects will get in mode because it's all in my pipeline so best is to go here and have a look at this all right so this is the third build that I'm going to trigger again you know this is not a good job because my still my uh, demo QA job is kind of broken so let me go to that job let me uh, let me back to the project and let me configure this project let me uh, you know let me modify that and uh, fix this thing so I've purposely broken this I'll say echo um, build is good now something like this you know so that I don't really say that the build is bad so with that now I have ensured that I have whatever was broken I've kind of fixed it now let me run this now all my three jobs should go through and assuming that these are my three steps in my uh, pipeline uh, once these goes through then this build would be promoted okay now if you see this this fellow's passed through and uh, you know this also should get uh, you know done once it is done these are all my downstream projects so all this look good then this build will have a kind of a star kind of a thing if you see here you see here this is a QA OK build so though the build number is 4 this is the promotional history where it says you know this build has been OK now let me just show you one more time let me go ahead and kind of break this job second job back to project 
Now these, you know, if in case um, you can visualize this, uh, this is like for every build, there's so many builds happening. So every time a build is different, for the sake of simplicity, I'm just, you know, echoing some things and um, simulating a scenario where something is broken or not broken. You can, you can visualize this for your project as, you know, uh, there are so many overnightly builds or builds being triggered off because of the code changes and some of the code changes broke some things. Okay, so that's the whole idea. Okay, now if you see this uh, promotional status, uh, QA okay, right? You don't see, um, you know, uh, oops, let me come back. Okay, promotion status. Okay, this promotion has not happened. All right, that is where you would, uh, you know, you would see that uh, there's something wrong with this particular um, build. All right, now let me go ahead and fix it again. Back to project, configure. Save this. Let me come back to my first job demo build job. All right, and let me try to build it from here. And uh, if you would see, uh, only the projects where everything went well would have this promotional thing where you know QA okay. So this way, anyone can look at it and figure out uh, you know which are the bills which are QA okay. Typically, in your environment, when you have so many jobs that is running. So many jobs that is running and with so many build numbers it's very tricky to figure out what are these build jobs which are good which are got a star on it to promote and stuff like that so if at all you see something like this that means uh, you know uh, th this is a kind of a good job that is there okay now if you see there are two of these jobs which are good so if you see this the starts this was a broken build that's why it doesn't have any uh, promotional thing so this is a uh, bad build this is a good build this is a good build so this is this activity is called promotional where you're letting your team know uh, what are the jobs which are good in the sense that based upon your criteria that you have what jobs are good to go at and this is an eye catcher kind of a thing and uh, typically many of you have seen that there would be hundreds of jobs there so which jobs have got a star in front of them those are the jobs that are being promoted or these are the good to go kind of a jobs all right guys i uh, hope you found this tutorial um, useful and as usual if you have any questions or something that didn't run for you and stuff like that kindly leave a comment and i will try to get to them as soon as i can all right thanks for watching